Hey there, my name is Omar, and today we're going to create and send your first invoice in Avaza. By the way, you can also manage projects, track time, and record expenses in Avaza. Be sure to check these features out after the video. Let's say I opened a design company and just finished some awesome visuals for my first client, and now I need to invoice for my work. Let's head over to Invoices and click on Create Invoice. The first thing Avaza needs to create an invoice is a customer. Since this is my first customer, I'm going to click here and create a new one. Avaza will save this customer for the next time, and I can even add more details later in the contact section. Okay, now that I have a client, I'll click here and create a basic invoice. On the left, you'll see the invoice number. This is a unique identifier for each invoice. I can put in any number in here, and Avaza will take care of the rest by automatically selecting the next number in the sequence for my next invoice. And this part here, it's called a prefix. You can change it in your invoice settings to say anything you would like. I can then change the issue date, select a due date, and enter a PO number. I can also choose to address the invoice to a specific customer contact from here. Next, I can choose an invoice template. Now the invoice template is just a set of instructions for what my invoice should look like to the client. I can set up invoice templates in invoice settings to add my company's logo, choose what columns are shown, and much more. Next, I can choose if the unit prices I'm adding include or exclude tax. Taxes can also be managed in settings, but for now, I'll leave this as is. The discount field can be used to apply a default discount percentage for new line items, but for now, I'll just leave it blank and enter an invoice subject. This is how the subject looks like on the actual invoice. My next step is to add a line item to the invoice. See this field here? It's used to enter the inventory item type. This could be a product name, code, or a service name. I can manage my inventory items in settings, but for now, I'll just go ahead and create a new one by clicking here. You can put in as much detail about the inventory item as you'd like, but all of Aza needs is a name. Okay, now that I have an inventory item, I can add a description and change the rate, quantity, and even add a discount for this item. By the way, you can use these buttons to pull unbuilt timesheets, expenses, and fixed amounts for this customer into the invoice. These can become individual line items or can be grouped together. We'll talk about that in a separate video, but for now, let's add a few more line items. Almost there. This box down here is optional and can be used to put in payment instructions and notes. I'll go ahead and put in my bank details and leave a thank you note. Don't worry, you don't have to type this out for every invoice. Just add it to the invoice template and Avaza will automatically fill this box every time you create an invoice. Alright, this invoice looks good to go. I'll go ahead and save it. Now before you send the invoice to the client, you may want to attach some files to it. In my case, I will attach a copy of the visuals I created earlier. You can even attach files from Google Drive or Dropbox. Next, let's click the Web View button to take a look at the invoice as it would be shown to the client. Notice the Pay Now button? This is what the client will use to pay the invoice online. Avaza supports receiving payments from major credit card providers via Stripe, PayPal, and Payoneer. You can configure your online payment methods in the Online Payments section of the Settings page and add one or more payment methods to the invoice template to activate the Pay Now button. Okay, this invoice looks good, but in case you need to make any changes, you can click the Edit button on the invoice page. I'll click the Send Invoice button and keep myself as the sender. You can change this if you would like to send the invoice as someone else in your account. Note that you can only select from users who have the Invoice Manager or Administrator role. Next, the Recipient field is pre-populated with the customer contact I chose in the invoice. You can add more recipients from the dropdown, which shows a list of all contacts for this customer, as well as all team members with the Invoice Manager or Administrator role. This field also allows you to enter free-form email addresses to send the invoice to. In the CC field, I will select myself so I can receive a separate copy of this email. I will also add Lisa, who handles the accounts receivable for my company. Next, I'll add a personal touch to the email by editing the subject and body. By the way, Avaza allows you to customize the template for this email so you don't have to make changes every time. Just head over to Email Templates and Settings to customize this email template. I'll click Send, and in a few moments, my client will receive the invoice email, which looks like this. They can click here to view an online version of the invoice or download a PDF. Now here's a tip. You can scroll down on the invoice page to see if and when the invoice email or web view was opened by the client, along with all the other history for the invoice. I can also send a reminder for this invoice from the Actions dropdown. Now as soon as the client pays for the invoice online, I'll get an email and the invoice status will be changed to paid or partially paid based on the amount they entered. Or I can use this button to record payments manually. The Invoice Overview page shows you all of your invoices grouped into two sections. The first section shows outstanding invoices. This includes draft invoices, partially paid invoices, 
Invoices that were sent but are overdue. Invoices that were sent but the due date has not yet passed. And invoices that are in void status. Each of these statuses has a color code as well. I can use the filter drop down to look at invoices that have a specific status or use the search box to find invoices by client name, invoice number, and more. The next section is for paid invoices. This section also allows you to search invoices using the search box. Be sure to check out the finance report section where you can find powerful reports such as invoice aging, revenue by month, profit and loss, and much more. That's it for today. Feel free to send us your feedback or questions to support at avaza.com and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a notification whenever we release a new video.